the Talmud Bavli in the Sechet Shabbat Daf Lamed Aleph says as follows, that when a person passes away and is required to give an account of his or her actions in this world, one of the questions that the person is asked is Sipitha Li Shua, which means, did you truly yearn for and look forward to the Yeshua? And the word Yeshua, normally translated as redemption or, or something like that, uh, is explained by Rashi as meaning the words and the promises and the forecasts of the Nevi'im. In other words, when the Nevi'im discuss the, uh, the Jewish people returning to their land and reconstituting their, their national existence, their national sovereignty, and their national life in their homeland according to the Torah, that is the general thrust of much of what we find in the Nevi'im, in the Prophets. The question the person is asked therefore, says the Talmud and explains Rashi, is did you really look forward to, to these events? In other words, did you connect to these events? Did this make a difference to you? Was this part of your uh, existence as a Jew? Because it's possible for a Jew to be uh, ostensibly a good Jew, a religious Jew, uh, a Jew who believes in God, living uh, in Chutzlaret, performing uh, the Miswoth, and yet, frankly, these issues of when, if, how the Jewish people will return to Eretz Yisrael and what will happen at that time, and, and uh, whether you're concerned about these things, whether it makes a difference, whether it speaks to you, whether all this resonates with you, uh, it's quite possible to be a Jew uh, for whom these things mean next to nothing, and yet ostensibly be a very good Jew. So the Gemara is telling us that such a person is not really such a good Jew. After all, if you cannot say, if you cannot answer that question honestly in the affirmative, if you cannot say about yourself, Yes, Sipitali Shu'a, I really did look forward, I yearned for these things, this was an essential part of my being, and I always felt that something was missing uh, as long as this had not yet taken place. If a person cannot answer in that fashion, then that person was not Misapeli Shu'a, he was not really looking forward to, it was not part of his uh, world outlook, it was not part of his Jewish existence, and that is a very serious problem. So tells us the Gemara in Masechet Shabbat. So a person who doesn't look forward to these things, who doesn't think about these things, a person who does not make these ideas of Yeshua uh, an essential part of, of the Jewish philosophy and outlook, and therefore uh, because outlook determines action. Outlook, philosophy, one's general fundamental ideas according to, one, uh, according to which one lives one's life, these things uh, in the final analysis will decide what you concentrate on and what you think about, what you dwell upon. If a person is not thinking in those terms, then that is a serious problem. Uh, and such a person is clearly not connected to the, to the Torah, because the Torah is the Torah of Eretz Yisrael. There is only one true, authentic Torah, and that is the Torah of Eretz Yisrael. If a person is not thinking in, in terms of Torah to Eretz Yisrael, is not ter thinking in terms of the Yeshua, which is intrinsically bound up with uh, Eretz Yisrael, with the Jewish people's existence in Eretz Yisrael, now and in the future, then that is not truly Torah. And it's not truly Torah Eretz Yisrael because Torah and Torah Eretz Yisrael are really one and the same thing.